Culverts are a vital piece of infrastructure. They're used to convey water and streams under our highways. They're also used to pass fish and other aquatic organisms under our highway safely. We do have uh, about 40,000 culverts that we know about in the state under state highway infrastructure. We have everything from small corrugated pipes, so the corrugated metal pipes, eight inch, 12 inch little cross drains, all the way up to the big massive concrete box structures, essentially a bridge at that point. So this is a typical example of one of our concrete box culverts. We use a lot of these across the state for our road stream crossings. For fish passage, a lot has changed in the last few decades. Um, we found that when our highways were installed initially, 40s, 50s, 60s, um, we were looking at the capacity of that structure to move water under the highway. At the time, even that was a little bit undersized. So what we're finding with the specific to the design changes is we're really opening them up. And we're really allowing not just for more flow to get through the road stream crossing structure, but we're reducing velocities through those areas. We're trying to allow the stream to have more of a natural process um, to allow sediment, to allow trees, to allow ecological processes through a road stream crossing. We inadvertently created some fish passage barriers as part of our infrastructure installation decades ago. We're also nearing the end of the design and service life of those crossing structures. And as those things start to get become poor and critical condition, we're replacing a lot of those structures with new, longer lived infrastructure. As part of that, we're also addressing fish passage. So if we have a barrier or if we have a way that we can make fish passage better, we absolutely do what we can at that structure to, to make it work. The cost benefit, if we can go in and replace a structure that blocks three or four miles of high quality habitat, it's a lot cheaper just to allow those fish access back into that habitat than to go buy or restore three or four miles of habitat somewhere. Um, so we're seeing significant access and, and a lot of high quality habitat across our state that fish can now get back to. For us to have the ability not just to improve our infrastructure and extend the service life of our highways, but also provide for the ecological um, world while we're doing it is just a win-win across the board.